Singapore's controversial prison system has always been under scrutiny, but just how harsh is life inside one of the country's most notorious jails? CNN was recently granted exclusive access to Changi Prison, where shocking revelations about the conditions inmates face have stirred even more debate over Singapore's anti-drug laws. The cells are small, the heat is unbearable, and the living conditions are intentionally harsh, but is this really what deterrence looks like? Let us take you through every detail, from the minister's justification of these measures to the contrasting efforts to rehabilitate prisoners. Stay with us as we break down Singapore's tough stance on crime, and make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments, do you think harsh prison conditions are the right way to combat drug offences, or do they cross the line? Should countries around the world adopt similar strategies, or is there a better way to rehabilitate offenders? Share your views below, and don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more in-depth news coverage like this. CNN's exclusive report reveals the extreme measures Singapore takes in its prisons. Prisoners are confined to tiny, 7 square meter cells, with no beds or fans, even as temperatures soar above 30 degrees Celsius. Minister for Home Affairs K. Shunmugam defended these conditions, calling them a necessary deterrent against crime, particularly drug offences. It's not a holiday home, he stated firmly, reinforcing Singapore's stance as one of the world's toughest when it comes to drug-related crimes. Singapore lies close to the Golden Triangle, the global centre of opium production, making the country's zero-tolerance drug laws all the more critical in Shunmugam's view. However, there's a dual approach to the system. While inmates face tough conditions, they also receive rehabilitation programs to prepare them for life after prison. But this doesn't apply to death row inmates, who await execution with no such opportunities. Is Singapore's strategy effective, or is it time to rethink how we address drug offences and rehabilitation? Let us know what you think in the comments. And while you're here, hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to 2230 for more detailed news updates like this one. Let's keep the conversation going. Thinking question for viewers. Do you believe harsh prison conditions truly deter crime, or should the focus be more on rehabilitation efforts? Share your thoughts below.